graphing parabolas. In this lesson we'll be graphing parabolas. We'll take the standard form of the parabola conic section equation, solve for y, calculate points, plot points, then draw the curve of the parabola. We'll start out without using a calculator, then use the conic application in the graphing calculator. Up to this time I have created and uploaded 15 videos dealing with quadratic equations and functions and many more co-starring parabolas and quadratic functions. Why this lesson? I wanted to explore parabolas in the context of the conic sections and take the time to go over what I would call an old school method of solving and graphing. The simplest form of the equation of a parabola is the quadratic parent function y equals x squared. And here is the graph of that function. Parabolas are seen in nature and have many uses to mankind. They are used in communications, optics, ballistics, architecture, art, physics, and even more. There are two versions of the standard form of the equation of a parabola. There's y minus k quantity squared equals 4p times the quantity x minus h. This results in a parabola that opens to the left or to the right and there's x minus h quantity squared equals 4p times quantity y minus k. As in the other forms of the conics, the h moves the center or vertex of the parabola right and left. I hope you would remember by now that x minus a number moves the parabola to the right and x plus a number moves the parabola to the left. And also, as in the other con forms of the conics, the k moves the center or vertex of the parabola up and down. I hope you would remember by now that y minus a number moves the parabola upward and y plus a number moves the parabola downward. Now, unique to the equation of parabola, p is the distance from the vertex to the focus. Without getting into a great amount of detail, the smaller the value of p, the tighter or narrower the graph of the parabola. In the quadratic equation standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, the greater the a, the tighter or narrower the graph of the parabola. Also unique to a parabola, there is a version of a parabola that passes the vertical line test and is a function, and that is for the parabola below. That's because we don't have to take the square root to solve for y. We have to take a square root in every other version of a conic section. But this version above, with the y squared fails the vertical line test because the vertical line touches the curve more than once and is therefore not a function. And it's because we have to take a square root to solve for y in order to graph it. Let's take this equation y plus 2 quantity squared equals 4 times 0.25 times quantity x plus 6. To graph this equation we'll solve it for y. The first thing we'll do is simplify 4 times 0.5 on the right side. Since 4 times 0.5 equals 1, we'll make those disappear, bringing it down just x plus 6. The next thing we'll do is take the square root of both sides of the equation. Note how we have plus or minus on the right side of the equation. We're left with y plus 2 equals plus or minus the square root of quantity x plus 6. Now I realize that inside the square root sign on the right side we don't need parentheses. I just want to emphasize that we are indeed taking the square root of quantity x plus 6. As our final step, we subtract 2 from both sides of the equation to isolate y, which gives us y equals negative 2 plus or minus the square root of quantity x plus 6. Next, we can use the equation to fill in a table of values. We can use our table of values to plot the parabola, the points. And finally, we can draw a parabolic curve over the plotted points. Let's look at a problem. The equation below represents which conic section? 2x squared plus 5x minus y plus 12 plus 2 equals 0. The first way I would look at this is to consider the forms of the conic sections, which is the only section that does not have both an x squared and a y squared expression. If you can answer that question, you have solved this problem. One way to answer that question is to go to the conics application on your TI-83 or 84 calculator. You check out all the conics, first circle, then ellipse, then hyperbola, and then finally parabola, which is what we see here. It's hard to see because the form of the equation is different, but here we see 
the y without the squared symbol both in the equation we're evaluating and in the conix application. Another thing we can do is to solve for y, then graph the equation. The easiest thing to do to get y by itself would be to move that negative y over to the other side of the equation, the right side. And over here it becomes positive, so we have 2x squared plus 5x plus 2 equals y. Next, we can go to the y equals view in the calculator and enter the equation y equals 2x squared plus 5x plus 2. Then, we graph the equation. We see that it's a parabola, which verifies our answer. Choice D. Let's look at one last question. The, the equation below, x minus 3 quantity squared equals quantity y plus 2 is represented by which graph? Stop the video and solve the problem, then restart it to see if you got it right. If you remember that x minus moves the parabola to the right, you can eliminate answers A and C. And then to choose between B and D, remember that Y plus a number moves the parabola downward. D is the correct answer. This has been Graphing Parabolas. Thanks for viewing.